How are we doing, all? Uh, doing a little video, as you just see in the thumbnail, uh, regarding the DIY um, water-fed pole pressure washing kit. Um, you've got two ways to obviously make this, um, depending if you have the item that I'm about to show you in a minute. If not, you could do it quite straightforward. Um, you could buy the hose from any hydraulic place, um, which I bought this from a hydraulic place which is rated to what's it rated to it's rated to 250 bar uh no sorry it's rated to 3206 um uh, psi to 250 bar sorry yes i was correct so this hose you're going to need it's quite narrow let me get out my stethoscope So this works out to be what's about to be twelve mil. Uh, yeah, it works out to be twelve mil. So you're gonna need something like a twelve mil hose. Um to be now and obviously rated to the correct um, pressure to what you're going to be using so what I was able to do is I was able to get this uh, hydraulic hose from my local hydraulic shop uh, very cheap actually um, I think I got 60 odd meters here um, at the minute I've only got it in the gardener um, 35 um, pole but with the extension on it also so I've got that because obviously I've got longer poles as well so if I needed to I can just pull the hose up put it in my longer pole put the trigger on off I go so what I was able to do with this is just by the hose itself and because I've got a lot of these um, snap fit quick release uh, fittings as you can see here I just attached it to a trigger off I went and just adapted it so when you come to get the hose depending on your set you can go for um, 3 8 inch uh, is it 3 8 or 3 and a quarter inch uh, fitting which I'll put a link in the video below for obviously I've got a trigger here and then it's um, 1 4 quarter inch um, from the hose which this was a male you can go a female because the trigger i had it would accept a male so i've got a male so you just got to adapt it to the fittings if you have this set up if not you can buy a trigger um from ac pressure washers um, from flow jet from uh, roland pumps you just buy the triggers for this application which i will show you a close-up in a bit because uh, it's on a long pole so it's quite hard to fill it all in and then you feed the pole, feed the hose through the pole, but you've got to make sure the fitting that's attached to this hose ain't too big where it's not going to go through the hose. Because when we did sell it up on, well, pulled the fittings, that's all before they crimped it onto the hose. We double checked everything to make sure it's fine. And... Um, to feed up the pole so once we knew that we, we were good to go on that so we done that so it was good so now what I'm going to show you is the other end of the pole So what I was able to do is, because I already had all this set up to begin with, laying around in the garage, everything else, and because I had the old style um, extendable pressure washer lance thing that weighs an absolute ton, a lot of the parts I was able to nick off that. Um, so one of them being the bit that goes into the pole that the clamps clamp onto, 
you've got this fitting here. As you can see there, that metal bit. Let me bring the camera over. As you can see, I've got this metal bit that goes into the pole. You can buy the fitting uh, from Gardner for this. I think it's like 10 pound or something like that. Um, that would just feed into the pole. Again, you do have to take the first section out of the pole. I've still got section uh, two, three and all the way down. So you've got to take section one out. So I was able to use that instead of me buying one from Gardner. I'll show you what I took it off. And then the fittings, I've just put this in temporarily at the minute because I'm actually waiting for the post. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be fitting this quick release fitting onto um, up here. So then I'm able to change my jets at the minute. I've got um, a 65 fan jet nozzle on here with just a spare uh, nozzle that I had. And then on this end, on this part, I'm gonna have the um, male and then I'm gonna have a female that screw into the, up to here. So I've got an adapter to go all onto this. So once that's all done, then I'm able to change not just the jet sizes of what I need because I've bought them pack of fives where you can get the individual jets. I think it goes zero, five, uh, up to like 45 or maybe 65. So I bought a pack of them and I've also brought different bars. So you can get U shapes, you can get longer bars with little kinks in, little bends. I was able to have this bar um, again off the other little old setup I had and was able to use. I have got another one that's on a U shape but it's not good for what I need. If anything, I'd have this longer, which I've ordered, with a slight kink in it, so you're able to get good um, purchase off the pole and obviously angle to what you need. So all you have to do is push that in, tighten up the clamp to until it grips nice and tight, and then this goes up into here. So now what you have to do yeah, so this is what you've got to do, uh, which I have done my setup. It's straightforward, it, it's easy enough. Um, this is just a, a thing that I've put up to test to make sure everything works and it's fine. Again, I'm waiting in a post. I've been actually waiting a long time, so I'm actually gonna to speak to them. But this is how I've got my nozzle set up at the minute. Uh, nothing wrong with it, it works, it does the job, but for me, I want the option to be able to change the jets out to what I need. I've got this set up, um, had this jet already. Again, this just turns it off and on, reduces the pressure, everything else, which again, I ain't gonna need. So that just screws onto this bit here. And then from that bit, once I get this out, so as you can see, there's the hose there. And then this bit here come out of the old little pressure, well not little, but the extendable, I think it's 25 foot poles that you can buy for like hundred pound, um, off like eBay or something like that. Um, so this fitting come out of it, which this would be something you'd get off Gardner, which I think it comes in that blue or um, a steel color, um, which, that is what this does. But because I'm a cheapskate <laughs> to say, it's, I had it, so, yeah, and it works. So there's no need to buy what I need because it clamps. And with this nut, as, you, as I said to you earlier, you've got a watch to make sure it clears. And this just clears. It's a bit of a wiggle, but it goes in, as you can see and then it's all clamped in. And then once I've tightened up the clamp, which I have, it's not going nowhere, it's solid. I've had it on pressure, everything else. Um, again, once I get my other little setup that comes in the post, which this will go onto here. I've got an adapter that goes from a three eighth to an inch and a quarter fitting. So that'll go onto like that. And then the rods, we have the mail on the clip into that. So I can interchange the rod size, lengths, angles, etc. And then on here is going to have the same scenario where this is going to have the female and on the jets it has the males where I'm able to 
swap out the jets to what I need and how it works. So I'm just waiting for them fittings to come. They should hopefully be here tomorrow. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. If not, they're gonna be getting an email. But at the minute, that is what setup I've got. So for me in total, because I had a lot of this stuff um, already without uh, the hose to say, um, you can use the hose that comes with them cheap ones, but the hose for that um, ain't long. It's like 25 for something like that. Do you know what I mean? So you are, you're, you're restricted with your height. So for this setup, with what I had already in the garage, um, it's only cost me the best part of £50 in total, and that is just buying the hose. Obviously, you do have to have a pole, um, so if you ain't got a pole, then you've got to incorporate that with the cost of um, the pole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the old setup that I had, and then we'll go from there. So as you guys will probably know, these are the um, old pressure washing um, extendable hose um, set up. So all I'd done was stripped it out of um, everything, all the components that I need. So I took the trigger off, um, I took the, um, took the so this is the old pole setup, um, which is the pressure washer hose. So all I've done was strip this. It comes with, like I said, the 25 foot um, hose, which you can use. You know, if you if you know you ain't going to be going up to pass that height, you can just get rid of this heavy old pole and put it in a water fed pole. And um, the bit I said you can obviously get from Goose uh, Gardener just goes in here and the way they had it fitted was it ha has tiny little um, tech screws that screwed into that um, little rod um, wasn't all the way through it's ju it was just to hold it in place so it ain't gonna leak or anything and obviously this telescopes and then the brush um, not brush or the trigger again come off this setup and I was able to fit that onto the uh, water fed pole so the trigger I was able to um, salvage off this. Again, this just clamps straight to this pole. There's a um, little hex head screws that holds it on. Um, and then I have my fitting that suits for my needs for my hose, for my pressure washer. And then the actual hose that I brought with the um, inch and a quarter fitting goes into here. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically everything that you need. So if you have one of these, then you're looking at about 50 pounds if you have spare fitting, stuff like that, and if you have nozzles. If you don't have nozzles and with buying the hose, you're probably looking at the best part about 80 pounds. Um, and then you still don't have to buy a trigger. You've already got the pole. But if you are looking to buy a whole kit, um, I know AC pressure washers and uh, Roland pumps and other companies like that, obviously sell a full kit package for everything you need um, and I think that comes in about 300 pounds um, so you can just buy that but for me I had this all set up it's heavy it's not very it doesn't go very high to what you need um, with this again this is going to be a lot higher than what I've got it attached on to now with the gardener pole it works for what it is um, I was able to salvage stuff that's just laying around in the garage, absolutely doing nothing, just gathering dust and doing what it needs to do. So with um, this all now, it's all running, ready to go. Like I said, I've just got to wait for my jets and wait for the other little fittings. I just want to change, just modify a little bit uh, just to make it easier to swap and change certain items like I showed you. Um, again, with the end cap, I was able to put the hose through. That is a bit tight, but 
it's not tight where it's restricting the pole from going up and down. It's only tight when I had to put the um, this fit in here into that cap. But once you get it in, it is in. Uh, but the hose itself goes through the pole very easy. The hose isn't heavy either. It, it's not going to be weighing down your pole, so you haven't got no problems there. You know, I had that 60 foot of that um, hose wound up and it weighs next to nothing. It, it's not heavy whatsoever. Um, so this is going to be an ideal setup for a, a big job we've got coming up. Hence the reason I've gone and made this um, set up. So again, that will come out in another uh, video, obviously showing this all in action, what it does, how it performs, because I'm quite interested as well um, to see how it does and if this uh, DIY um, setup actually works uh, on big jobs being put for its full paces, which I have no doubt it's gonna because it's got the right components on it, the right parts. Um, the weight isn't a lot. It's a lot lighter than this old setup, this old yellow beast. So we'll see what goes on there. And again, that's it. So what I'll do is I'll put you onto the other camera now and I will switch all in a bit. So guys, that's it for now. Um, it's just a quick little video to show you what to do. Again, it's so straightforward. You take the old hose out of this, you can use it like I have stated, so you wouldn't have to buy the hose. And you feed it up through your water fed pole and you take the trigger off this old setup, pull it onto here, put the fittings you want um, to suit your setup in your van for your pressure washer, etc. And then modify the tip to as much you want. Either you can buy the um, extendable rods for this setup which are about £2.99 and then the jets, uh, different jets that just clip into this fitting will obviously be interchangeable a lot easier. So yeah, let me know what you think guys about it. It's only a quick little video just showing uh, a bit more in depth of how this works and what, you know, how I managed to convert it into a water fed pole. So please like and subscribe and obviously thanks for watching guys. I'll see you all soon. Crossfire. It's caught in the crossfire.